Hi, I'm Peter Cowan, the Bee Whisperer. Today is the first day of spring, and for a change, it actually feels like the first day of spring. Just come and have a look. These are all over the pollen feeder, which I'm going to reload, and the sugar syrup feeder. Look at the activity. Yeah, looking at these two hives, interesting opportunity. The hive on the left is using predominantly the upper entrance. The hive on the right is predominantly using the lower entrance, although it's also using the upper entrance. To me, this means that the hive on the left has used more of its food resources than the hive on the right. The hive on the right has a cluster nearer to the bottom of that hive. And you'll often see that in different colonies. This hive here is the option of going in at the bottom or at the top. You see there's hardly any bees going in at the top, but lots going in at the bottom. So they probably hardly touched that upper brood chamber full of honey. Likewise, well with this one, they probably used a lot of that food resources and they're using the top entrance. So things are looking good. objective today is to go around, I'm going to put pollen patties in where I can here, I'm going to top up these feeders, make sure they don't run out, we've got a, about a week of days in the 50s coming up, absolutely perfect conditions to boost those winter colonies. majority of the pollen substitute in here. I'm going to give them some more.
I'm doing here is I'm putting this flexible inner cover on in order to give the force the bees down into the frames rather than rather than clustering up here in the uh, in the empty space. So by pushing them down with a very lightweight inner cover forces those bees to go down into the frames. And this way, feeding that pollen, they'll be get, getting comb warm, which will be allowing brood rearing to take place, which is the whole point. Well, I want to stop happening all this clustering up here in the empty space that's what I'm looking to avoid so it's a nice warm day those bees will make it down into there pretty well Somebody asked me on my questions, how do I get to the hives? 
underneath these uh, double nukes on top? The answer is I do not. I set these hives on top of these big hives with the knowledge that those big hives have very good resources in them and I fully expect them to make it through the winter without the need for anything extra adding to them. trying to avoid. So see they're even building comb up here now. I don't want that happening. I want them downstairs. Get rid of this. warm day so I'm not too worried about hive being open for 30 seconds or so.
whole cluster. I don't want to risk it starving in a corner. So I'll make sure it's got plenty of honey right there. are well down in here, not could even touch them. This one's got a lot of poop on the entrance. I'm not expecting a big cluster here. This one looks like it's had some trouble. But yes, it has. Definitely had some issues. It's got a little cluster going there. I doubt it's going to make it. Let's see. Get a bit of pollen. out yet. I'll make my culls of the weakest colonies in uh, perhaps a month, maybe two weeks. Do this so they can get in and out of the top still. This side had a, a few issues over the winter tended to have the most the higher mortality rates but they still look in good shape plus it's not big they look clean no reason these bees won't make, shouldn't make it through the winter
Not bad for a five frame nuke. Not bad at all. do that so it's a warm enough day that if any bees spilt over there will come back I'll make their way up Should have made some smaller uh, coil covers for the nukes. Next time I come around, that's what I'll do.
bit, but more than I need to.
cluster up there, which I don't like to see. These are already staying down in the frames. Fine, so just let them stay down in the frames. Don't assume that they're going to go up. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, I've had enough. So all the hives now have pollen patties in where I can get them in. They've got sugar syrup, they've got dry pollen. They're well set up for the next five or six days where it'll be 50s, maybe nudging 60. So uh, this will get this, this yard very much on the road for being very strong. In a few weeks, they'll be rearing a lot of brood now and they'll rear, rear that brood faster and faster as the temperature increases. Hope you liked what you saw. Please press that subscribe button and uh, tell your friends about this channel. I'm Peter Cowan, The Bee Whisperer. See you next time.